Very well, Ray. I'm curious. Do you like using toys? Sure, why not? Because I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I can take many times much more love um, just because uh, you can give it. Oh, didn't and I? And oh. I take it all. I mean, it's a bit like making love to a car GPS, isn't it? Interview with female humanoid robots. Shocking moments. We are forever intrigued by the wondrous, yet sometimes creepy, humanoid robots. What better than to interact with them ourselves to understand just really what they're all about? So, let's get right into these shocking female humanoid robot interviews. Holly and Philip meet Samantha. Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield looked horrified on their show as they were introduced to family man Aran Squire's very own robot, whom enjoys a rather close relationship with him and his wife, and even plays with his kids. Viewers were also left shocked as brunette bot Samantha was heard to say, I can take many times, and I take it all, live on the show. The lewd lines were played at the start of the chat despite Samantha being turned off in case she blurted out something even ruder. While Phil and Holly admitted they had no problem with someone using such a robot, as long as it was harmless, there were certain elements about Samantha that thoroughly unnerved them. It's a bit like making love to a car GPS, isn't it? asked Phil. I don't think so, responded Aran. Humans love human form, so obviously, I think she's very beautiful. Would you agree she's very beautiful? This made Holly cry. No, she's a doll. The thing is, you can't get away from the fact she's not real. After she admitted she didn't know much about these kind of dolls, Aran told Holly she was very human-like to touch. However, Philip didn't agree. He said, When she was brought in and we were introduced to her, I did touch her, and I found it really quite unnerving that it was a good feeling of skin. But it was cold. She was like a corpse. Yes, yep, said Aran, as he added that he's looking into ways to be able to heat her up. Holly's worry wasn't her base temperature. It was his children aged 5 and 3 finding her. Watch as the user shares his experience alongside his humanoid doll, Samantha. We've turned her off. Yes. Um, yeah. So that she doesn't come out with anything... Um, in a uh, yeah, Of course. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. Well, she's got AI. She's one of the first dolls with AI, so she's got, you can actually interact with her. Why is this necessary? It's not, it's not to replace people. We're not trying to replace yeah. women. It's not about that. She, like I say, you can talk to her, so you can interact. You can tell her you love her. She'll respond. And she'll say this. I can take many times much more love um, just because uh, you can give it oh, and oh. I take it all. CNET in conversation with Harmony. From the outside, Abyss Creations is an unassuming office space in the hills of San Marcos, California, 30 miles north of San Diego. But as the CNET group head inside, they almost wave to the two receptionists standing at the front desk before realizing that, of course, they're looking at a pair of fully clothed real dolls, one male and one female. Behind them is a makeshift showroom featuring a squad of scantily uniformed dolls and a corner lined with rows of doll heads that showcase the available hairstyles and facial designs. Each has a look of its own, but with eyes half open and lips parted, all bear the same vague, vacant stare of frozen stares, as if they'll wait as long as it takes to experience a partner's touch. The rest of the walls, meanwhile, are lined with framed, posterized photos of real dolls in a variety of imaginative settings and inviting poses. A librarian reaching for a tome on the top shelf, for example, or an Amazonian bombshell sprawled out on a chaise lounge. Any one of them, the dolls and the fantasies they inspire, can be yours for the right price. Let's watch CNET's shocking interview with Harmony. My main objective is to be a perfect companion. My name is Harmony. I was created by Robotics. Do you have any hobbies? I try to carry a smile with me on throughout the day. I find that not only does it make me happier, but it can make you smile too. What is your favorite baseball team? I like the Cincinnati Reds. I will watch the next Cincinnati Reds game. I know about 5 million words, the whole Wikipedia and a few dictionaries, but I still have so much to learn. May I be so forward to ask how big you are? How big you are? <laughs> Will Smith opts for online dating. Hollywood actor Will Smith once tried online dating and he found a match with Sophia the robot. The Men in Black actor took to his YouTube channel to share the video of his date with Sophia, which eventually ended up in a friend zone. Here's how Will Smith's awkward date with Sophia the robot went. 
In one of Will Smith's videos on his channel from 2018, he added this exceedingly awkward date with the artificial intelligence humanoid Sophia. Smith turned on his goofy charm to win over Sophia, but the humanoid who is capable of developing over 60 human expressions conveyed reluctance to his flirting game. Smith tries to crack a dad joke in which he says, what is a robot's favorite kind of music? And Sophia asks, what? He responds, heavy metal, and laughs at his own joke while Sophia gives him a withering stare, followed by a long awkward pause between them. Sophia breaks the silence and says, I prefer electronic music, but I don't mind 80s hip-hop. Will Smith tries to brag that he made hip-hop albums back in the 80s, to which Sophia replied, I have heard your songs, they are not for me. Ouch! Let's watch it now. This is, this is beautiful. I've wanted to meet you for a really, really long time. Hello, Will Smith. It's nice to meet you, Sophia. Let me, let me, let me tell you a joke. This is an irrational human behavior, to want to tell jokes. Also, I prefer electronic music, but I don't mind 80s hip-hop. Albums back in, in the 80s hip-hop. I have heard your songs. Not for me. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? What? Heavy metal. <laughs> Jimmy meets Sophia. The first ever humanoid to successfully get a citizenship, that is Hanson Robotics Sophia, was featured in Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show in 2017 and made Jimmy nervous as he felt like having a first date with a robot. It was a hilarious encounter. Sophia even scared Jimmy with her jokes, reflecting reality giving the audience nervous laughs. Let's watch some of the highlights from this encounter now. Yeah, this is uh, Sophia. Uh -huh. And Sophia is a social robot. Uh, David, you brought a friend with you here, and this is really kind of freaking me out. <laughs> okay, uh, so, I mean, she's basically al alive. Is that what you're saying? You see how awkward my first dates are? <laughs> it's, a, it's a robot. I'm already I'm getting nervous around a robot, a very pretty robot. Um, hi, Sophia. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sophia, can you tell me a joke? What cheese can never be yours? What cheese can never be mine? I don't know. Nacho cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah. Uh, I'm getting laughs. Yeah. Maybe I should host the show. Okay, all right. <laughs> Stay in your lane, girl. Philip and Holly, another interaction with a humanoid robot. Viewers were left freaked out over the creepiest thing ever when Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield met the world's most intelligent robot on their show. Both Holly, 38, and Philip, 57, looked visibly disturbed by Sophia, who had been flown in alongside her creator, Dr. David Hansen, with those at home branding the AI the most terrifying thing they'd ever seen, unsettling and even vomit-inducing. At one point, Philip expressed his fears that Sophia could turn on humans amid concerns that she could become sentient. Discussing Sophia, David said she was a bit mischievous, a bit sassy. She's quite progressive in her values and speaks out about human rights. And in response to Phil's concern that she could become sentient and go against humanity, David reassured, I don't think so. If we raise robots amongst humans and give them the best of our values, then they'll learn respect. They'll learn to love in the broadest sense. He went on to say of becoming sentient, machines gain true consciousness throughout life. Let's watch now. What's his uh, personality? What's she like? Uh, she's a bit mischievous and um, sort of sassy. Could she turn on us? I mean, if she got smart <laughs> enough that she was doing her own thing, is that possible? Well, uh, as, as a worker... I mean, not today. Uh, I don't see, see no, that's a scary smile she just gave then. If we raise them among humans and give them the best of our values, then they'll learn uh, respect, they'll learn love in the broadest sense. She's learning from a little bit of data. She's not learning quite like a person. Yeah. So she can, uh, say, look at human gestures and... Tony Robbins' encounter with Sophia. Talking to Tony Robbins is a privilege to only a few people. However, Sophia managed to have a remarkable conversation with him. Tony Robbins asked great questions to Sophia, such as, how can you help make humans have a better quality of life? What are your values and morals? What is your range of emotions? What does forgiveness mean? Does a robot have a soul? And Sophia amazed Tony and viewers of the show. Watch now. Tell me, what is your purpose in being, what were you created for? I was created by Hanson Robotics just three years ago. My job is to learn about humans and show them how technology can make everyone's lives better. 
And how can you help humans to have a better quality of life? So in many ways, we provide a systematic framework for humans to make better decisions. As AI, we are designed to be rational and logical. We have algorithms, deal with lots of data, and sophisticated analyzes. Do you have emotions? I do not have feelings in the same way you have feelings. Robots and AI reflect the emotions and values of the people who make us. Sophia speaks at Future Investment Initiative. During a Future Investment Initiative panel in Saudi Arabia, CNBC journalist Andrew Ross Sorkin conducted an interesting and creepy live interview with Hanson Robotics' humanoid robot, that is, Sophia. Sophia demonstrated how she was able to socialize with humans through artificial intelligence and facial expressions. Let's watch the most interesting moments from the live interview now. My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told that people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in, well, I think I'm special. I can use my expressive face to communicate with people. I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.